Checkout Tracking by the NPD Group brings you a receipt collecting system that gathers data anonymously through technology we created, providing your businesses with answers. Thank you, everyone. Um, as Diana mentioned, I'm Sampada Telang, and I focus on strategic partnerships for gaming and apps at Google. Um, and I'm here to talk about native ads and what it means um, when we say native ads at scale. So let me start by asking how many of you in the room have heard the term native ads been used before? All right, that's quite a few of you. And now raise your hand if you know exactly what someone means when they say native ads. All right, no one? So as you can see, um, Native ads is a very commonly used term in the ads industry, and yet it's the most loosely defined term. So what are native ads? How do we define native ads? So I think at the very core, native refers to the ability for brands and users to connect with each other through natural and intuitive experiences through the publisher's medium. There are three stake key stakeholders when it comes to ads. It's the users, publishers, and advertisers. And if there is one common goal that all of them are focusing on, it is user engagement. So that has led the industry to drive more elegant ad experiences over a period of time. And very often, these experiences come at the cost of scale. So experiences like these, for example, where there's additional development work that goes in to create um, content, gaming content for, uh, for brands. So here you can see there are these brands that are sponsoring farm goodies, for example. So while these are incredible from the brand's point of view, as well as from a user experience point of view, what does this really mean for you, the publishers? So there are two, two big challenges with this. One is obviously the cost of development for something like this. But secondly, and more importantly, how do you even prove the worth of something like this? There are no standard metrics, and every time you go back to the brands, it's a new negotiation. So that's the struggle that we've been dealing with in the industry. So what we converge on are experiences like these where there is a lot of standardization but these experiences will give you scale and are not necessarily optimized for elegant user experiences. As a result, we see, this, we, we see a lot of publishers spending a lot of their time and effort in optimizing for this, and as a result, a lion's share of their inventory ends up with this. So we want to move away from that, and that brings us to the question, of how can we enable scaled, elegant ad experiences. And what we see is the idea that there is a possibility of decomposing the ad creative into its basic core components and allowing publishers the flexibility of rendering these components in a form that naturally matches with their medium. And we see that happening with native ads, and that's the way we scale these ads. So at Google, we have uh, two products, uh, DoubleClick for Publishers, which is the ad server, and then AdMob, which is the monetization uh, product. And for both of those, we, we work based on flexible components. And as you can see, as a further example, the ad on the left-hand side is actually can be rendered in two different ways, both equally interesting and are conducive to uh, different publishers' layouts. Now, because of the scale that this concept brings, it's been embraced by both advertisers and publishers in the industry. Based on what IAB and Business Insider um, put together, it, it seems that the native ads um, number is going to hit $10 billion this year and is expected to get to $21 billion by 2018. 
And this number includes not only the custom work that goes into creating custom brand experiences, but also scaled native that I just talked about. In US, for example, native ads currently comprise a quarter of the total spend. However, come 2018, you will start seeing native ad spend come at par with the display ad spend, the standard ad formats. So now I'm gonna talk about the vision that Google has for native ads. So we believe that there are four key pillars along which a successful native ads product must be built. First is screens. Obviously, your users can be across multiple screens, whether it's desktop or mobile, whether it's mobile web or app, and we want to ensure that our native ads products are available across different screens. The second is transaction types. We want to make sure that independent of whether you're manually trafficking these creatives or you're um, utilizing programmatic channels, we have the availability in the technology to match all of your needs. The third is demand sources. There, there is the entire spectrum from direct sold, where you are going directly to brands, or house ads, or Google demand in our case, or even demand from a lot of other sources in the industry. And we want to make sure that we can work with myriad of these demand sources and, and can produce as much liquidity as possible in the system. And last but not the least, delivery methods. One, we allow native rendering for mobile apps. So we allow publishers to control the style as long as they adhere to certain standards. We obviously want to make sure that the ads are called out clearly and that there is no perception that the user is being tricked that, that a certain piece of content is an ad or not. So within the framework of those policies, we allow publishers um, to, to natively render ads. And then secondly, we, we are working towards custom templates across screens, which publishers can just simply take depending on what suits their context the best. So this is our vision, uh, but what we are working towards, um, we, are, we are already live on mobile apps on AdMob. Um, I'd encourage all of you to attend our workshop tomorrow at 3 p.m. Um, at the Hilton. Uh, but we are also working on a lot of these components as we speak um, over the course of the next few months. Google's always been um, a front runner when it comes to native ads. So even going back to the days of search, search is still very relevant, and the, search, the concept of search ads, it is, it is um, core to native. App install ads or video ads um, on YouTube, the skippable TrueView ads. We've always strived for better user experiences in all of these different formats. And our goal is to partner with publishers to make this a reality. So Atari was one of our launch partners when we made the initial announcement for our native ads product um, at the Game Developers Conference earlier this year. And as you can see here, they've, uh, they've been working with us to implement native ads in their app. Um, and it sort of, as you can see, it's a very elegant experience. And it also contributes to better CPMs and better performance from an advertiser and a publisher perspective. But I also want to highlight that this is not just limited to gaming. We are working proactively with a lot of different types of publishers, um, even though they have different contexts. Some are more newsfeed oriented, others um, have a different context. So here, as you can see, Trovid um, is one of our partners. Um, and this is, some, this is an example of experience that they shared. In their case, they thought that native ads, one, significantly improved the, the advertising performance. Second, was elegant and, and more natural to their design. And then the third piece, it was a breeze to implement. So that's the piece that I want to focus on next. 
So as you can see here, there are different components for every ad creative. And the idea is to break these components down and make sure that while we are giving publishers the control to render them differently, we are ensuring that the key components are still present and, um, and visible. And all of this can be done fairly easily. So you could add, make a few changes in how you're implementing the SDK with standard ads, and that allows you to even sort of create templates um, or use one of Google's existing templates uh, based on whatever works best for your app and then start using our native ad solution. I want to spend some time talking about cross-screen native ads because there are a lot of publishers that have properties on both desktop and mobile. Um, and our product, DFP, Double Click for Publishers, is a very powerful ad server which allows publishers to port um, creatives and assets across different screens. So as I said, as, as part of our four pillar approach to native ads, cross screen is an important component to it. Um, and through DFP, we allow publishers to port over their creative assets and render across different types of screens. This just talks about how to do it um, and as we roll these products out, we will make sure to conduct more workshops and talk about this in detail, but the idea at its core is to keep things simple and make it scalable as a result of that. So ultimately, um, native ads, as I said, are going to scale only if we make it easy technologically for you to make it happen. Um, and that is what will lead to the $21 billion number that we saw. And that's where I'll end. Um.